Um, I'm I'm going to just say that I feel that this might be absolute destruction due to the Void. The fact that Void is one of the best players in the world against Bayonetta. He uh, destroyed Salem when he played. He's uh, beaten JK a bajillion times. Yeah. Um, so it's a little shocking to see that he would go. Did you see the trip? I think he beat be Captain Zack. Did you see, see the trip though? Yeah. <laughs> That was crazy. We'll find out. We'll see if uh, Abadango is able to make something happen from this. Because oh. once again, Abadango has lost the last five times that he's fought Void by going Mewtwo. So he might as well switch it up and try something different. Yep. Here it is. Uh, he's been putting in a lot of time with Mewtwo. I'm guessing when he was back in Japan. You know, I went to Abadango's house before. I think you. I don't know if you went with myself, Void, and the cat uh, when we visited Japan in September. But Abadango, if he has a fest, man, you'll see everybody come out, dude. I was so, like, I was oh, you were there? Yeah, you it forgot. Was nuts. Oh, right, here we go. I thought you were like, uh, I forgot if you came through. Anyway. Oh, no, I didn't come through. But see, here we go. You definitely stayed. All right, so we got an up throw coming out into a bouncing fish, but he misses the bouncing fish. Could be a strong punish, but huh. Void is really good at SDIing the up B that comes out from Bayonetta. So a lot of times, if you want to do these combos with Bayonetta against Void, you have to likely do it beside. Oh! Clean heal to the face, but yeah. doesn't matter. Fact, I got your back. Teammates. Oh, it looked like he was looking for possibly the up B. Wow. That's barely missed. Yep, good stuff by Void not getting caught by the triple fair, three grab setup. Wait a second, oh wait gosh. a second. Wow. That's scary. He like fell right out of it. That was good DI coming out from him. Yeah. I did notice that with Corey, you could just fall right out of it. While he's up B, you just fall out and you have like no hit stun to the point that you can actually do an aerial back at him, and that's exactly what Void did without doing the aerial. I think Abadango knew that combo would not finish. He knows how good Void is at the SDI. Yeah. So just resetting neutral. Good stuff, Void. Again, getting outside of the combo. But I'll say one thing about this matchup when it comes to Bayonetta, right? You have to be careful because if you want to go for like an empty hop, that Witch Twist, man, is so scary because you could actually get caught by it. So Void, what he's going to try to do is see if he can stay outside of the range of a Witch Twist. But it's so, you have to be so precise. Coming out from Abadango, just taking Void off the stage. Um, Sheik is one of the best characters when she is on the stage. You know, able to get the grabs into usually bouncing fish. Yep. Right now we see Void doing a lot of like approaching and then just shielding afterwards. That would have been a clean setup as you saw the amount of percent right there on Abadango. Resets. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow, Void is reaching for the stars, but this is scary. Wow. Good avoidance. Let's see what he'll go for. Likely an F-tilt punish. It's actually pretty hard to get. Oh, okay. It's actually better for him to go for these grabs instead. Dude, okay. Did you see what he, uh, Abadango did after he forward through? Mm -hmm. Abadango immediately dove kick. Void could have probably, like, up smashed, right? Oh, man. I wonder if Void's going to retain that information and set it up again. We'll see. All right, Void just going for these needles, adding up a lot of damage. Looking Ooh. for these up airs, and there is one. Okay, that was a scary first game. That was that definitely was scary. Yeah. A lot closer than I thought it would be. Uh, Void was losing the majority of the time, but then he just got a bunch of grabs. And the grabs you can't punish with witch time, so it makes it really good for Void. Uh, I'd say Sheik definitely has a better neutral yeah. than Bayonetta, at least um, when they're fighting each other. So he's able to get a lot of grabs due to the fact that Bayonetta's going to be on the ground shielding or hopping around. And eventually he has to land on the ground, and that's where Void gets these grabs. Yeah. All right, here it is. Okay, sticking with the Bayonetta and Void opening up <laughs> by accident, of course, yeah, that with the like grenades. <laughs> All right, so maybe we'll see a different startup this time around because Abadango did get a good lead in the beginning. Oh my, just ducking Dazzle. Yeah. Sheiks, if you're not doing this, he's definitely not. Ooh, there it is. Nice interceptions by Void. You could tell, man, he has a lot of experience with this matchup. He's very comfortable here. Yep, going for these grabs again, making sure that which time never comes out, either down tilt or grab. Very nice. Okay, so follow up and oh my there. I wonder if. Void, you are insane, good sir. Oh, what? What? Okay. <laughs> All right. He's having fun here. Had enough time to rub his nose while Abadango is trying to recover. All right. <laughs> good stuff. To, I was going to say good stuff to Abadango for up being and holding down a little bit to be able to get that little hit of the up B, but that's not even enough damage. That's barely any. Barely for 1%. All right. Let's see if he goes for it again. Oh, but Void with the DI. He's just escaping a lot of these Bayonetta combos. Very nice. Just deciding to jump up B back onto the stage cleanly. Not falling into Abadango's traps. Okay, Abba's chance. And he's out. out. Yeah, he's out again. His SDI is phenomenal against Bayonetta. Did you see how he actually did the second part of the flip kick? Yeah. <laughs> to possibly hit after the side B. Oh, oh my. No. Void? Oh, put down the Hello, sir. Oh, put down he the wanted to end it. Oh, no. Void is like, you know what? We about to make this into a clip. Clip this. 
Man, it's like he's spelling out Mewtwo. Like, <laughs> what character will he go next? M E W T. -T. <laughs> oh, okay. maybe no. So good spike right there by Abadango. Like, uh, he's sitting in shield way too much. He's not even going for the uh, witch twists now. All right, luckily he was able to get hit back onto the stage, but this is a tough position. We're likely going to. Oh my Gosh. God, Void! Great up smash. Ooh, will this wow. be the sixth time in a row that Boy will take out Abadango? Will we see Abadango possibly switch to one of his many characters? He has so many characters that he does keep in decent practice, so I have no idea which one he'll take out. But I feel like it would be a very smart decision to possibly switch off of Bayonetta. Yeah. Yeah, look at Void now. He, he looks like he's definitely like in the zone. He's smiling. This is smiling Void. What happened to Dark Void? Dark, is Dark Void gone? This is Chill Void? He's chilling. This is, I think, you know what it is? Ever since the Void Bear has come into our lives, Void has been happier. The spirit of Void Bear has taken over Void. He's prob it probably sapped out all of the darkness from Void's very being. What the heck are you talking about? All right, so here we go, guys. Game three. And Abadango opening up with a sick combo. Wow. Uh, a little reminiscent to the time where uh, I think it was Abadango versus... Uh, um, Might have been um, AC. AC top of the very strong combo, 60% already, looking like she. And oh, he waited. It looked like there was a, a, a like a, a tiny little wave. Yeah, and then he went for it. Point millisecond wait, but yeah. that shadow ball. If you can get a KO now, he's good. But if you let she get back on the stage and get one fair on you, uh -huh. that's like 40, 50 percent. But nice fair coming out from you two. Yeah. Helene making a good choice to come back to um, you two. Uh, Void still looking like he's falling a little bit though. A little. Like he's gotta have Yeah. Alright. Here it is. Numerous snares right now. Oh, Void, yeah. that's the second grenade. A couple flubs here. He can't let the light side, you know, take over too much now. He might be too happy to get complacent. I actually feel a lot of top players, okay. they, oh no, she's gonna make it back up. Yeah, but true. A, it's she. A lot of top players, they go Bayonetta in the beginning uh, just to possibly take a game. I've seen uh, Tweak do it a couple times where switch to Bayonetta to take a game and mess up the play style of what the opponent is expecting versus their actual main. <laughs> and this could be an example of it. So Void's starting to catch on, but he's already at 76%. Yeah, Void with that really sick, that was super sick follow-up right there. Those platforms, man, making it very difficult. Here it is. Wow, Void actually went straight up. I thought he was gonna wait. Okay, racking up quick damage already. Oh, oh goodness. Yeah, gracious indeed. Not, he's not even like ledge trapping him, he's just making it so he can't even get back to the ledge. Exactly. Oh, Abadango actually testing the up smash. It, the, the, those arms, man, they have intangibility. You gotta be careful. Wow, good cancels coming out from Abadango. Oh, beautiful. Sick stuff right there. Yes, watch out for that fair. One fair near the ledge would make it over. Or actually, not even near the ledge. That was like a reverse up air, too. Oh, that's an opportunity, okay? Void pushing up all the way to the right. Let's see. Normal get up. Does he have a charge? Oh Ooh. my gosh, that would have likely had KO'd. And there goes the fair coming out for Abadango, taking a game on Town and City. That's actually really good by Abadango. Trying to cover that space where Void was going to roll. Getting that punish. Abadango's accuracy with those fairs is really good. And now he's showing a bit more promise here with the Mewtwo, as you can see. I just feel like that start was really strong for Abadango, getting pretty much a 60% combo, almost 100% unanswered before Void can even do any damage. And that's what really helped out. But we have FD. There's no platforms where he could do cancels and all that other stuff or run. So we might see a strong 60% combo coming out from Void off the start. Okay. And I feel that's what matters a lot in the beginning of the match. That's what matters actually for the entire match. Who gets a lead? Oh yeah, look at Abba. This time he's just staying on the ground. He's not afraid. Yep, there it is. Just waiting for those opportunities to get those down tilts. Very patient and grounded play. There it is again. Catching Void's jump with the Nair too was really smart. Reactive almost. All right, here he goes. Might be a lot of percent. However, Mewtwo does disappear whenever he does air dodge. So he's one of the best air dodges in the game. A little hard to follow up sometimes. Quite fast too. Wait, that's a free hit. Okay. Definitely a flub there by Abadonga. I wouldn't put it past him. We thought we might just see the down tilt into up smash, but he's not quite at that percent that would KO. So we'll probably save it for a little later. Let's trap. Oh, he wait. See the way he's moving his shield? Yeah, so right, right, right. <laughs> he needed to press some buttons. The wait. Okay, good DI wait by about after getting clipped. Wow. He was hanging out on the ledge a little too much. Yeah. would have seen that getting the down tilt, but after a while it makes it so he has to get up off the ledge, and that's when it becomes a little predictable. Oh, what actually trying to see if he can do frame with that? That's a sick counter, actually, for the neutral, like the down tilt. Yeah. 
Okay. Right, to charge that Shadow Ball a little bit more so he can possibly use it as a KO move. She's only at 70% though. Speaking of like KO moves, you see how Void keeps going for like fairs over Abadango whenever he throws like the Shadow Ball? Why not, if he goes for a Shadow Ball, maybe even think about like bouncing fishing. Oh, true. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Oh, yes, it would go right over the yeah. uh, Shadow Ball. Hopefully we'll see that come out. Oh, oh my, my. okay, Abadango's actually quite daring. <laughs> Sorry, had to do it. Sorry. <laughs> and that's the last time you'll do it. But here we go. You have a nice down tilt coming out from Abadango. He's just walking back and forth, trying to space against Void, who's likely going to look for the grab. But Void's deciding to opt to go for fairs instead to begin his combos or push the opponent off the stage. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So much damage. Nice fair. I like how he's retreating, waiting for Void to jump onto the stage and getting a punish once again. That's three times in a row. 61 now on Void. Final stock. Abadango holding down the stage. Wow. Maybe going bait it off in the beginning was the right choice to mix up and make Void forget how to fight Mewtwo. But this is three games that Void could potentially have to be able to adapt to his play style. Oh, is that it? Yeah, he literally jumped right into the up smash. He hit him at like 70%. Yeah, dude, 70%. But he had 145 almost max rage right there, sending him to the skies. Void. At first, it definitely looked like the opportunity for him to just skate on by and get into the grand finals was nigh. But actually, uh, Abadango said, you take me out of losers, not I. Mm, I like that. Mm. I like that. So let's see what will happen here. Um, I feel like he'll probably go back to Final Destination um, due to the fact he can do these combos. He's just not getting them to happen right now. I feel like Abadango is just squeezing his way out, air dodging, um, up being away. And Abadango is actually the one that's capitalizing on combos a lot more than Void is. Um, so Void is thinking really hard. Does he want to go to the stage where he can combo better if he can get his combos? Or does he want to go to a stage of platforms where Mewtwo will be able to ledge cancel, which I feel like he's not going to want. So I think we'll probably see either... What? Okay. Town and City. Town and City. He's trusting in the Sheik. He's definitely capable of doing it. I feel this is actually a good stage. He can uh, be able to KO off the top um, pretty well. And even though Abadango can do ledge cancels, it's a lot harder to do on Town and City. Oh. And it looked like Void was basically just trying to wait for Abadango to get close enough for him to be able to find an opening for the fair pressure. Here it is. He gets it. Retreating to the platform. That's what Abadango is known for on the stage. So he can charge Shadow Ball. Yep. Okay. This is really scary seeing how close this match is between both of these players. I'm actually seeing some clean game. Oh, oh my gosh. god, what an escape by Void. But Abadango still trying to maintain that lead with the percentage. Those down tilts, man. Yeah, they're keeping him out really well. Only 32% on Abadango, but this should be not that much damage, actually. He's not getting too many combos. Mewtwo slipping out of everything. Uh-oh. Crowd cheering. Let's go for it at the top of their lungs. Very risky landing right there in front of Abadango. I thought we were going to see a back throw. Yeah, back throw, up throw, anything coming out from Mewtwo. Oh, man. So many voids. Are they? Oh, my oh! God! Light void! I guess Holy void, void. <laughs> is the right thing to do. Void gets that clean up smash on the platform of Town and City. Wow, and he's looking for it too. Oh, wow! And Abadango strikes back. We got a real match, people. Oh my gosh. 0% each. Last stock, fifth game. Starting off with that risky neutral air. Yep, try to see if he can cross up. Yeah, looking oh. for that shield poke too. Yo, nobody's trying to get hit. There it is. 1%! Oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally intense though. Oh gosh, Abadango playing a little safe right now. Can we talk about how much damage he got from that one down air? Oh, how much? Oh, it was like, did it look, it wasn't 14? It, it looked yeah. like it. Yeah, I thought it would be more. But these combos, once again, coming out from Mewtwo. Mewtwo. Mewtwo's looking like the combo master and not Sheik at the moment. Okay, there's the down tilt. Abadango went for it way too early, giving the void that opportunity. Okay, there it is. Okay, smart. Uh-oh, yeah, he knows Abba's gonna go for that down tilt. He has to be careful. Quick punish on the roll, too. All right, keeping Abadango on the ledge. Oh, wow, actually, he wanted it. up smash. Yeah, but Abba kind of like drifted back. Ooh. That's a bad, uh-oh. He got hit by the 94%. Abba's oh. going to start just fading back. Oh, that was risky. Whoa! Bouncing fish was back. All right, he's able to recover, but he has to watch out for these fairies. He's likely going to fish for it. That's a and grab! That should be it. Yep, and Abadango moves on. Oh, my goodness. Tense situation right there. Abadango finally ending Void's streak of winning five times in a row against them, making their set count now be 5-5 five, five from 2016 to 2017. But Void will still leave out uh, at third place. Still not bad. Uh, very good, actually, for a tournament like this.